What's up guys, Skip here, back with another video, and well, in today's video we are going to be checking out all of the summon units for the new Halloween event, that's right, I pulled every single one, as you can see my inventory, ignore phone guy, I need a starter, but look, as you can see in my inventory, I pulled every single summon unit, and I even got shiny of the rare and the epic to make them just a little bit better because they're probably going to be trash. But yeah, look, I got the Mythic, the Seeker, and the Nightmare. So this is going to be really cool because the only one I've used so far is the Nightmare. Which, if you guys want to see that video, I did a whole review on just him. So I'm not going to be acknowledging him too much this video. So if you want to see like a true review on Dreadbear, go check out my other video. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into Endless. Alright guys, so we're pl going to play Halloween Endless. So we can test out all the units. In order, most likely. But, yeah, so. I mean, the Halloween Endless is actually so fire, but we need to start with more money. So I can place down my, um, my phone guy quick enough. So we're going to do trick because I'm trying to get this 0 0.25 present. I think it's Jacko Foxy. Got a camera glitch. But yeah, it's very cool. I've grinded a lot. Look, they walk so weird. It's It's kind of cool, though. Yeah, so we're gonna get rid of these phone guys once we have enough money to start actually, like, once we're stable. Wait, I thought I had enough. I don't know. Alright, we took a little bit of a hit. That's alright, because now we've got him down, and he should take care of these, starter un these starting units. And then, of course, we gotta get one at each entrance so we can make money, because we severely need money. Yeah, the phone guy is such a good starter. He's definitely the best starter. And then we can sell you and put you at this entrance right here. Alright, and we already have enough to put down the first unit. So we'll put him down right here. And it is Jacko Chica, which... Oh, this looks cool. She has a catapult. So she starts off doing 750 damage every 3.75 seconds. And she's shiny, that's very disgusting all right let's upgrade her now she's doing 875 every 3.563 seconds there's so many numbers all right we can upgrade her again and yet a thousand damage is all right but with that cooldown this is like a diabolical unit a thousand one hundred and twenty five and i'm not going to be using buffs in this video because I want to be able to check out all the units in just one go. See, you're bad. Um, here comes Toxic Bonnie. Oh gosh, wait, hold on. We need to like kind of upgrade you. All right, we, this is the next unit, Pumpkin Balloon Boy. Yeah, Toxic Bonnie should be fine. So Pumpkin Balloon Boy is actually pretty cool. But let's turn off Auto Skip too, so we don't get overran. The bosses don't get overran. So he starts off doing 750 damage every 3 seconds, so he's also not very good. Let's upgrade him. 825 every 2.85 seconds. Alright. 900 every 2.7 seconds. And, alright, so he does 975 seconds every, in his every or 975 damage every 2.5 seconds. I have boss killer on him because... I legit spent like 400 souls getting enchantments on all these guys. And poor Balloon Boy um, was last. So he did not get anything very good. Um, Let's get the Mythic down now. Also, hold on. What I'm going to do here, I want to actually be able to test the units. So I'm just going to put three phone guys in the back over here. Until, until we get the, like, at least the secret down. Because, look, right now they're kind of getting passed if I don't have my phone guys. So, sell the, these phone guys in the front so we can actually see these units do some work. Sell you. And then we'll just have three maxed out ones in the back as, like, our death barrier, you know? So, max you out. And they're still going to hit some stuff because he has, like, a max beautiful range for a starter. Such a goaded starter, but look. Alright, so back over here now. We have the mythic, which... Ooh, that's really cool. 
Oh, he has these claws like looking like Wolverine. Oh my goodness, bro. That's really cool. All right, 8,000 for the first upgrade. 600 every 0 0.66 I am I'm not reading all that. Let's just let's just max them out. 800 damage every 0 0.625 seconds or whatever. Ooh, and that looks really cool. We're going to die over here by the way. Ooh, we might be dead. Let's get the secret down. Please be, please be really good. Please be really good, not good enough. Okay, well I didn't really see the secret. All right, let's play again. Um, and we'll just get back to a point or we'll just get to a point where I can place down the secret All right guys, um We're about to die again. But let's get this dude down and oh my Okay, that's the secret. We just got a little sneak peek, but now let's put him over here And let's put him right here so He starts off by doing 375 damage every 0.1 second which is insane. He also looks insane. I mean, just look at this dude. Oh my goodness. And he's he does burn. I know he does burn. Because I took a little peek at his stats. So 525 at 0 0.1 seconds. With burn on. I mean, this is... This is just going to be insane. And you can place three of these down. They actually got nerfed too. It used to be four. Also, Dreadbear got nerfed. His cooldown got nerfed. Yeah, it used to be four you could place down. So, just imagine that. But now it's only three. But, yeah, stay tuned to the end of the video. Or, towards the end of the video when I place down Dreadbear. But yeah, like I said, if you want a full-on review of Dreadbear, the Nightmare Unit, you gotta check out my other video. Because Dreadbear is really insane, especially before he got nerfed. But the nerf isn't too bad. But still, a nerf is a nerf. I mean, nobody likes him. So, now he's maxed out 637.5 damage every 0 0.1 second. Oh my goodness. Night Terror Chica, you killed me last time. You're not killing me this time. And I think, and what burn does is, um, like, I think it's like poison. No, I think burn... Um, over time they do more and more damage the longer they're attacking so if he's just continuously attacking he'll start doing like a trillion gajillion damage the goat bam put him down right there so you actually can't see him very well can't you yeah you can place three dread bears so we're gonna put one right here jacko o patch why is it why is he called jacko o patch that's kind of okay okay Whatever, I don't care. Um, have we gotten the present yet? They changed it. You used to be able to, like, every 10 rounds, choose if you wanted to, like, do it on treat or trick. But now you can only, now you choose at the start, and then there's no more choice. But let's get some of these Jacko Bonnies down because these guys are so cool. I mean, I just love Halloween, and they cooked with this update. They cooked so hard. Oh, yeah, also. Let's turn on effects real quick. I'm gonna lag a little bit. Okay, so yeah, he has effects. And then I don't think Dreadbear has effects because when I reviewed him, I had effects on. But let's see everyone. Actually, never mind. It's getting too laggy already. I can't wait for when I get a PC, which will probably be around Christmas time because I'll cook with that. But let's see if we can max out Dreadbear right now. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, his cooldown is way worse now. It's 2.5 before it was 2. It's just straight up 2. But look, he's doing 9,000 damage and he's not even maxed out. Look, these are his final stats. We don't have to get him yet, but he does AoE burn. So look, it's 10,500 with 45 range and 2.5 cooldown. AoE burn. And that's without but upgrades. Because I don't have any... Support units on my team right now. Okay, so these units are good, but not very good against these final units right here. Yeah, and bam, we are already dead.